Hello. It's good to see you. Uh, today we're going to take a look at a few items that I purchased just today at Dollar General. It's just a few little things that I wanted to show you. One thing I wanted to show you first was this bracelet. I got this earlier today. Look at this pretty piece. Now this all came together as one, uh, one piece. It even had the lobster claw clasp on it right here in a gold color. And look at these beautiful links. And it was all put together. I went to Joanne Fabric and Crafts earlier today and that's where I picked this up. And it's just so pretty. I love the colors. Wait, see, isn't that nice? So this was not actually part of this stuff I got at um, Dollar General, but I wanted to show you anyway before I put it away. It's just pretty. And here's how it looks on the back. It's kind of a, like a burnished gold color. So I may actually put together an outfit for tomorrow. It's where to work that will go with this. But the rest of the things I'm going to show you came from uh, Dollar General. And I have them in these plastic bowls. I realized when I was making um, that peanut butter and banana pudding that I made on Sunday that I don't have enough mixing bowls. I have some smaller ones and some really big ones, but I needed some medium-sized bowls. And they had these plastic bowls at Dollar General and I thought if nothing else it couldn't hurt to have a few medium sized bowls like this around um, even if I just use them as popcorn bowls <laughs> if I needed to mix anything these might come in handy and they're lightweight they're easy to clean and they don't really take up much space so I thought it was a good a good decision they were one dollar each and they had them in multiple colors they had blue and pink red they had this kind of um like a teal color um purple i think they had pink ones so i got one teal and one blue and i'm going to show you the other one shortly but this one contains some of the items i bought um first i have this little egg this is a little plastic egg and it contains milk chocolate M&Ms and it's not very heavy it's only 0.93 ounces so I'm thinking there aren't many M&Ms in here <laughs> we are going to use these later I have an idea for these and we're going to use these in a video featuring uh, the M&Ms and little tiny cups that's just a an idea that I had. They are wrapped in this plastic shrink wrap. This one is blue and it has a little M&M man on it. You can see it just kind of goes all the way around the egg and it's perforated right here so you can easily remove it from the egg. And then of course the plastic egg itself is made of two parts that fit together so it's very easy to pull them apart. And inside here is a little plastic bag with M&Ms in it. You can't actually hear them all that much. I think because they're in this um, bag that's kind of crumpled together, so the M&Ms don't shake around in there very much. If they were loose in here, it would be very noisy. <laughs> very clattery. So this one is a really pretty uh, blue color. This was the first one I got also got one in yellow. These would be so cute in an Easter basket. Um, my kids have outgrown the whole Easter basket thing, but they've definitely not outgrown Easter candy, and they wanted to know if they were going to get any Easter candy this year. I said, of course, you will, because I love Easter candy too. This one has a little chevron design, these little white chevron stripes, and a little, the little green M&M lady with a spiffy little hat. This one also contains milk chocolate M&Ms. And they only had these in three colors that I saw at Dollar General today. They were one dollar each. And of course this one is also 0.93 ounces. 
they're all the same and they all have the plastic shrink wrap all the way around with a little bit of a perforation right here so you can easily tear it and remove the plastic from the egg to open it up and get to the M&Ms inside so there's the yellow one that one's kind of an orangish yellow and then I got this one which was um, more of a neon yellow with a little bit of green tint to it and it has the same lady on it with the white chevron stripes on the plastic shrink wrap I think you can see it up here and down here and you can kind of see it back here these are also milk chocolate M&Ms and if I hold it up to the light I can kind of see the the little plastic bag I can't show it to you it's not it doesn't really show um, but I can see the top of the plastic bag the little tiny plastic bag that's contained in here that's the M&Ms in it so you will see these again very soon in a separate video and then I told the kids they could have the M&Ms when we're done with them <laughs> okay now the next two things that I got are for a friend of mine who collects monkey stuff she loves monkeys so I saw these and immediately thought of her so I'm going to send these to her <laughs> these are so cute I've never seen these before these it looks like they're sticking their tongues out <laughs> so cute these are um, bag ties as it says here these are made by cuisine niche as it says at the bottom and they come on this thick paperboard now these I think were two dollars it says don't monkey around with freshness and you get three one two three and you can see that this part is flexible it's not a rigid plastic it feels like rubber it's kind of shiny though like plastic but it doesn't feel like plastic and on the back you can see the rest of it and they cinch up in the monkey's mouth like you can pull it and cinch it it says you can also use these to attach cables napkins flowers etc and on the back they show you pictures of different ways that you can use the bag ties so you could use them for cables or if you had a long cord and wanted something to hold it together you could use the bag ties for that or if you had a little bouquet of flowers you could use it to cinch up and hold the flowers together since they are BPA free top rack dishwasher safe and they're not a toy <laughs> that's what it says so they were made by cuisine niche and I just thought they were so adorable <laughs> these little monkeys and on the back they have this big picture of the monkey's face just like on these were hanging on a little clip strip on the end of an aisle I had to get these <laughs> so there's that and to go along with that to send to my friend I got this now this is uh, this, this is actually a set of measuring spoons now this monkey is made of plastic and you can't really tell but it's um, it's different pieces like this front is one piece and this part in the back separates from that they are measuring spoons and they're nesting spoons to make every measure a pleasure and it tells you on the back the different measuring spoons that you have in here in this nesting spoons little thing we have one two three four five different nesting spoons we have one quarter teaspoon half teaspoon one teaspoon a half tablespoon and one tablespoon all that contained and you can kind of see if you look at it on the side you can see how thick it is it's not terribly thick and they all nest together in this neat little compact shape with a smiling monkey face and again it comes on this heavy paper board 
with a thing here where you can hang it if you want to. These were on a little clip strip right next to the bag ties. <laughs> I think this was also $2, if I recall. So, I've been meaning to send a card to my friend. So I think what I'll actually do instead is send a little package containing the nesting spoons, the measuring spoons, the bag ties, and a card just all together in a box. So, I just thought that was so cute. Um, the next item I got for me, every now and then I just get a wild hair to try something a little different. And sometimes I'll see something that just kind of jumps out at me. And that's what this is. I didn't really need it, but I wanted to try it anyway. This is a liquid eyeliner from Wet n Wild. It comes in this little slim rectangular box. And it's a purple eyeliner. And the color is 874A Electric Purple. And you can see it's quite small, like most uh, liquid eyeliners are. They're just a little thing. They're not big at all. And they come with this long delicate tapered handle almost like a stiletto heel it's just you know it tapers it's very delicate um so this is a mega liner liquid eyeliner from wet n wild in purple i think it was a dollar fifty it was pretty cheap so every now and then i want to do something a little different with my makeup i don't know it's just you know, you just get tired of doing the same old thing. You want to try something else. So, if I'm wearing purple that day or just feel like it, I might just put on some purple eyeliner instead of black or brown. Usually I do black or brown. So, I thought I would try this. I'll keep this with my makeup and maybe occasionally I will use the purple. And this I thought was cool. I'm going to fold it out where you can see it a little bit better. It is a kitchen towel. Um, and I'm a little picky about my kitchen towels. Some of them are made of the um, kind of like microfiber material. I don't really like those. A lot of them look really nice, but I find that they're not terribly absorbent. Even when I wash and dry them without any fabric softener, I'm just not as happy with them as I am with plain old terry cloth, which is what this is. It's just cotton. It's 100% cotton. Um, and it was only a dollar. This was made by True Living Essentials. And we have the little tag right here. And it has all kinds of little cute stuff on it. Let me turn it this way. This would be better. We have all kinds of things on here, like Princess, Diva, uh, Beauty, style, classy, fashion, love, diva again, but in a different font. And we have other things on here too, like um, we have hearts and a little ring right there. And just lots of little decorative things like stars and a little flower. But I really like these better. I find that they're they're much more absor absorbent and they just work better. So I'm always kind of on the lookout for the 100% cotton towels, which I'm pretty sure this one is. So after it's washed and dried, it will work great. Just to add a little variety to my kitchen towels. Because right now the ones I have downstairs are kind of a little bit plain. Um, I swap them out pretty frequently. Um... So I'm always looking for new ones. There's a jewel right there. Oh, here it says trendy dress. Style. Fashion again. Total. <laughs> and along the bottom down here, near the very end, we have hearts. We have a bunch of different color hearts. They have them in different shades of pink and sort of a pastel green color. So I thought that was really cute and very colorful and bright and cheerful for a dollar. And that leaves us with an empty bowl. And this is just a plain plastic bowl. You can see that it's very shiny on the outside. Solid color, 
no other colors, no patterns, nothing fancy at all. It's quite flexible. Um, I wash all my dishes by hand, so it's not a problem. I don't have to worry if it's dishwasher safe because it's not going in there anyway. So it's a, I think it's a good size bowl. You could use this for a lot of different things. You could use it for a popcorn bowl, a mixing bowl, and you could put snacks in here if you wanted to. You could do a lot of things with this. I could put some salad in here to put on the dinner table. All kinds of things. If we were having chips and salsa, I could put some chips in here and have the salsa in separate little bowls for us. Yeah, it's very thin walls. It's not a it's not a very thick ball, so it's very lightweight. So this is one of the two bowls that I got. And the second one has something pretty fabulous in it. And I'm going to show it to you and then I'm going to take it out and, and kind of hold it up where you can see it better. This is kind of how I saw it. It was hanging up with some um, big bags, kind of like beach bags. And it was kind of hidden behind one of the bags. And I saw this little unicorn head sticking out. And I said, oh, I have to see what this is. It has this strap right here. So we start with this long pink nylon strap. It's almost like a dog leash. And it has a hook here where it attaches. I'm going to move that out of the way. To this fabulous unicorn bag. And it has sequins that are blue. But then you can kind of pet them down this way. Just brush them this way. And it turns them to the opposite side, which is silver. So you can have it be blue. You can just brush them back up this way and they're blue again. One side is blue. Like that. Or you can brush them down this way and make them silver. And he has little rainbow feet. Look at these little legs. His legs are rainbow colored. We have green and then down into blue, purple, and red. And then the bottom is just black, like his little hooves. And his little face is very soft, very soft. And a sparkly horn for the unicorn. And his nostrils are actually little pink embroidered hearts. This is just too cute. This bag is just too cute. Um, so soft. He has a plush head, like a stuffed animal. And then his mane kind of like a mohawk. It's pink and it's even softer than the rest of him. It's incredibly soft and kind of short, but that's good because then it doesn't get in the way of the zipper right here. And he even has a rainbow tail with pink on the end of the tail. And the rainbow colors go from green to yellow, orange, down into red right here. So it has a zipper. You can open him up. And so then, of course, you have a little compartment inside where you could store things. You could have all kinds of things in here. It's not a big bag, but this is just the cutest thing I have seen in I don't know how long. So if you have a Dollar General near you and you're interested, um, this bag was five dollars, which I thought it was a tremendous deal for this cute little purse here. I don't think you'd really call it a purse. Um, I'm just going to call it a bag. <laughs> so I thought that was just too adorable. <laughs> and then you have this long strap that attaches back here at the base of the tail and up here at the base of the neck, kind of at the beginning and the end of the zipper. And of course, you can remove that if you want to. These come off. And you could just carry it like um, like a clutch if you wanted to. If you didn't want to use the straps, you could do that. So, that's the cute little unicorn bag that I got. 
And the last thing I have is nowhere near as cool. It's a, another bowl. It's just like the teal one, but it's a darker blue. And again, it's shiny. And they have the price sticker on the bottom with the little tiny barcode and the price. And it's nice and flexible. And I'll show you, these fit together very well. See, they nest quite nicely. So you can actually see them both. You can see that you have two bowls here and you can take them apart and use them. But when you're ready to store them, they nest together perfectly, just like that. So if I need um, a couple medium-sized mixing bowls next time, I will have some. Because I have a lot of smaller ones and big ones, but I didn't have any medium size. So that is everything that I got today at Dollar Tree. I'm not Dollar Tree, Dollar General. Thank you so much for coming to see my new purchases. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I will see you again really soon.